Hello, this is E.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. Let's head southwest to the continent of Harina. As long as all we got is this little dinky canoe, we can only travel in shallow water. We could go up to the northwest of Gatiladio and find some treasures on the overworld there. But there's nothing else for us to really do there, so I'll just wait until the plot directs us to go there. For now, we've got a new enemy, Deathfish. There's nothing really deathly about them, but they have an attack called Spray that can pierce the fault. So you might want to watch out for that. Otherwise, just like most fish in Final Fantasy games, they are weak to thunder. So let's put Lightning to use against them. And I want to have Tiz examine them. Uh, examine them first. There we go. And then, yeah, why don't we spread out the damage a little bit with our tramples there. That ought to do. Yeah, there you go. Now, you see where it's lightning, lightning at the top there when we're casting the spells there? That's a good measure at work where it combines two consecutive spells and deals 25% more total damage than the spells would deal individually. So that's pretty nice. So that's the passive ability from the bishops there. But here we got another new enemy, Harpies. These guys are weak to wind, and unfortunately we can't really exploit that. So what I want to do is, yeah, just use my physical, physical attacks here, and maybe a few tramples ought to get the job done. And then, well, I don't need to examine them twice, so we'll just... Go like that with Trample. That ought to get the job done, I think. These guys also have an attack, a Dust Cloud, that can blind you, making it really hard to hit them with your physical attacks. Okay, we can do it that way, too. Let's fight another battle against some new enemies. And what do we got? Oh, just more of these guys. Ooh, and we got a Brave Attack. So now, let's see. Tiz! is back in the action there. Very nice. Okay, so with these guys, yeah, we've already examined them. I, let's see, I don't think I could kill them with lightning alone. Like four of them. Let's see, yeah, I'd probably be a little short on that. And I don't think Spellcraft would really help that much here. Well, it might. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually try something. Let's go Lightning, and then use the Needle Spellcraft, which has a damage scaling of 1.5. And because it's a Spellcraft and I'm using a multi-targeting spell, it'll double that damage too. So I'll effectively be dealing triple the damage of a single Lightning spell on these guys. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, let's go Lightning, Needle, then another Lightning, Needle, well, actually, no, let's do this a different way. Let's go lightning, lightning needle. Because of the good measure effect there, needle will apply to both spells there. And you'll deal even more total damage. And then maybe another lightning spell to finish them off. Let's see how well that works. Yeah, look at that damage. <laughs> I love the needle spellcraft. It is so... So obscenely overpowered against enemies with the same name. Oh, I suppose I uh, neglected to mention that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the way the Needle Spellcraft works is it deals damage to a single target and any other enemy with the same name as it. So that's pretty nice. So if you got all the same enemies, you'll deal a lot of damage, though four lightning spells is cheaper to deal with these guys. But, uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm probably not going to be able to kill all of them coming up here. But I will see what I can do. At least get the... What is it? The examine in there. And we'll see how that goes. Well, it's not like we can default at this point. But, yeah, they're weak to thunder. Or, well, lightning, I guess. Well, we killed the big guy, at least. You might notice that with the enemies that have different stats than each other, their size is also a little different too. So if you haven't examined an enemy yet, but you see one that 
looks a little bigger than another one, like physically, you should, well, keep that in mind with uh, whichever ones you want to attack. Okay, so let's go with Lightning. Could go Lightning Needle on these guys, but I think two Lightning Spells. Mm. No, we can go with uh, Lightning Needle. Just one, though. That should be enough to get the job done. Very nice. Yeah, look at that JP we got out of this one. Holy cow. Lots of abilities. Or lots of JP to do stuff with. Okay, so let's see. After that one, yeah, we took quite a beating there. I don't want to use... Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. I was going to say I don't want to use my bishop's MP because I'm using their MP for their damage. But we'll never run out before we get to another uh, resting point. So for now, let's use heal on the full party. Uh, so normally it heals 30% of your maximum HP. But with the way group scaling works, if you use it on everyone, it'll heal 12% max HP to everyone. I think that's the right math. So let's go with that. And I want to heal the party until two party members have maximum HP. And then I can just top off the rest with single targeting heals there to minimize the amount of MP that I want to use there. Okay, so let's see. After that battle, let's see. It's probably pretty close to nighttime. So, and I want to stay during the daytime when we're in the water here. So, let's just hop into the event viewer, get out of there. Music restart. We're back at the start of daytime there. Hooray! There is an enemy that you can only encounter at night in the shallows here. But we can find them in another domain. So, don't worry about that. I want to fight the enemies that are only here during the day if I can. Uh-oh. Quickly, plug the hole, Lydia. With what? Don't answer that, viewers. Me again? <sighs> like I don't already have my hands and feet full. Oh, well, we could, like, play Twister or something with all the leaks. Here, Lydia, uh, I'll take over. Watch out, sir. Don't stand all of a sudden like that. Why? Why would that matter? Yes, stay low. Oh. And take care not to rock the boat lest we capsize. Oh, yeah. That would be a good idea. Here, let's just bail as fast as we can. Uh, I don't think that's going to work too well. Right. Maybe you should have gotten some of that flex tape. Or whatever that stuff is that plugs water holes. Tidal wave of four. Or leak. Oh. <coughs> a mighty galley in my behind. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. Wee, Luxembourg sure is a blast. Both literally and figuratively. Well, I'm glad one of us is having fun. Ha <laughs> ha. Why wouldn't I be? I've never been on a ship like this before. I would hesitate to call this a ship. Well, they don't have oceans on the moon, you see. Oh. Exactement. An adventure on the high seas. Nothing but blue waves stretching all the way to the horizon. If there is a horizon. Hmm? What's this? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> Who's she? One fish, two fish, meow, fish, mew, fish. Uh, okay. Ahoy! I can explain, Magnolia. You see, the girl is merely fishing. Uh, wait, fishing? Why not? We're in the ocean. There's fish here. A girl fishing alone in the middle of the ocean? Oh. That's a bit... odd. Well, I've played this JRPG before. That doesn't even faze me. Just another day at the office for H.E. Bailey. Ahoy, little girl! What are you doing out here? Fishing, evidently. Meow? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm out in my catamaran fishing. For fish, you know. Angel Trainee Flan, is that you? My little kitties at home are counting on me for a moist and delicious feast. Oh. Ah, a fellow cat fancier, I see. I recognize your good taste. Uh, 
yeah, thanks. Aren't we getting along swimmingly? Indeed. That's what I'm meowing about. Cats are just the best, don't you think? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And look, what a precious little kitty you have there. Aww. This is Tsubaki, my loyal companion. We met on the road, so I cannot be certain. But in my estimation, he's a purebred Highland fold of some 12 years of age. Wow. Surprised they've survived that long. Master, that's a plain old tabby if I ever saw one. <laughs> <clears throat> a Highland fold. <laughs> You're a cute little kitty, aren't you? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Minette has a treat for you. Oh. <sighs> Uh-oh. Hmm? Is something the matter, Tsubaki? Going on. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Look out! And they die. <gasps> oh, or... Well, not yet. Master! I don't like the look in those eyes. Whoa. I thought he was a cute little kitty, but Meow, what a sour puss. I'll be going, Meow. Exit stage left. Uh, you just went to the right. <laughs> Look out, you. Ah! Tsubaki. Down, boy. Worry not. I struck with the blunt side of my blade. Yeah, nice. Whatever got into him? Good kitty. Master, are you hurt? How could I be so careless? Oh, what's the matter? You just got a cat scratch. The wound is deep. He needs medical attention, and fast. Let's find somewhere to go ashore. Well, I think we're almost there. There's a city not far from here. Our campus, land of learning. Let's hurry there. So, what about all the leaks in our boat? No, I guess we're just not going to worry about that anymore. Okay. But yeah, let's uh, keep on going to the southwest. I'd like to find another new enemy in the shallows here. Let's just hang around here for a little bit. Okay, well, we could fight some more of these guys. Let's see, I think... Let's see, this time around, let's see, if I go lightning needle, I think that'll be enough. Actually, hold on, I might need a little more than that. Let's go lightning needle, and then I only want to use one lightning spell here, just in case I need it to finish them off. But I don't want to pay for two spells, because, well, if I used good measure, that could be a problem there. So let's just go with that, and that should be good. Ow. Wow, these guys hit a little hard. Ha-ha! There we go. So yeah, with good measure, you don't really have a choice whether it activates or not if you have the ability equipped there. So the only thing you can do is not cast spells back-to-back -back like that, and then everything will be fine. But, uh, okay, so we got a couple of these guys. Why don't we save Magnolia's MP this time around? And we'll have Tiz and Edia to deal with these two. Yeah, these guys got quite a bit of HP. Uh-oh. Yeah, so there's that Dust Cloud attack that could blind you, although that doesn't really matter for you there. Because, well, he uses magic. Let's see, I think we can handle one, maybe two more battles. Uh-oh, they're brave. We gotta take them out quickly. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just do the same thing we did before. Double lightning needle. And then one more lightning spell, if necessary. Uh-oh. Well, Tiz is blinded. Now, the blind status is... Uh, permanent. It will stick around after the battle is complete. So I'm going to need to cure that with some eye drops. Uh, let's see. At this point, yeah, I'm not going to uh, 
try my luck there. I could have tried going into another battle. But I think that could have been dicey. So we'll just... And not to mention, we have a couple of our party members that are already a bit low on HP there. So let's see. Heal up a little bit there. Okay, that works. And then, yeah. So you see the little symbol by Tiz's picture there indicating the status. So let's cure that. Boom. We're good to go. I'll probably get into one more battle around here eventually on the overworld i'm looking for a uh, treasure around here let me actually look up my list and then i want to wait for it to be nighttime around here for some larger groups of enemies that we could encounter during the day okay so let's see it's you know you, you got a little monolith over there ah there we go the wake up bell very nice Okay, now, I was going to say, let's get to town, but we can fight some more new enemies. Let's see, so we got, yeah, newer versions of the enemies that we encountered before there. Let's see, so we got the Desert Shield, we're definitely going to want to use Lightning against them. And then the Stave, that is, they can cast Mystic Boon to boost their magic damage, but they could also... Ah, uh, what is that? Uh, they could also use Quake on your party for Earth Elemental damage. So you want to watch out for that. Let's see, with you, why don't we just go with four Lightning Spells. And then with Tiz, let's examine the two new enemies there. So yeah, the Shield has a lot of physical defense. So I'd rather not uh, use that on them. Although I could use Weapon Toss if I wanted. But we've got lightning to help out. They are weak to lightning, by the way. The shield. Not the staves, though. Okay, spread out the physical damage there. I think we'll be good. But yeah, for the most part, just stronger versions of the enemies that we've encountered before. Wow, look at that damage. Very nice, Tiz. Alright, got him. Let's see if we can find some more new enemies. Let's see. No, nothing new here. Let's see. Could I... I might be able to kill these guys with just Adia there. Let's give it a try. Let's go two tramples on the stave. And then let's do some weapon tossing. Let's see. What do we got that has decent attack power? Not much at this point. Let's see. Okay, we could go with the axe. And then, what else do we got? Maybe a short sword? That ought to be good enough. And then, with Magnolia... Hmm... What's your speed look like? Okay, Magnolia is a little faster than Adia there. How about we do this? I'll go with one lightning spell. Just to top it off, if that becomes necessary. Or, they could silence us. That works too. Oh well. Oh, that's not going to deal enough damage. Okay, we're... Yeah, we're going to need some help here. Okay, so let's get... Let's see, we got some Echo Herbs to cure the silence status. How much speed does that guy have anyway? Oh, wow. More than I would have thought. Okay. Okay, so we cure that. And then I need to use Lightning. Now, they're in red text because I'm silenced. But since I'm using the Echo Herbs, that'll be cleared by the time I use the spell, so it'll be fine. Let's see, I don't think I want to use any uh, spellcraft here. Yeah, I think I'll just go with three lightning spells. I definitely don't want to use lightning dart, because that would make the spell happen before the echo herbs, and it would just fizzle and do nothing. But, uh, alright, there we go. So yeah, not much I could do with that one, just, uh, yeah, I got silenced at a really bad time. Oh, and we uh, got some more progress on the moon base. Hey, hey all right. Parts Lab Beta? I don't care about that shop, though. I must have put them at the wrong place or something. Hmm. Well, in any case, 
Uh, let's see, with what I've got left. Yeah, why don't we... I must have meant to put them on the munition shop, but uh, let me double check that here. Let's see, with the moon base we got going there. Okay, so... Yeah, well... Yeah, yeah, I want to uh, work on the munitions factory a bit more there. So, yeah, why don't we leave that alone? Although I might want to put one somewhere else. Let me see what else I've got. Okay, so we've got a little bit there. Yeah, I'll just put two over there for now. And deal with reordering that later. But, uh, okay, so we finally made it to town. What else do we got around here? And it's suddenly daytime at Out Campus, just like in the demo there. Well, not everything's the same as the demo, but the graphics at least are different. So, where are we gonna go? To the end? The dormitory is just down the street. Shouldn't we take him to a hospital? No? Okay. There should be someone there to tend to Master Kami Izumi's wounds. Oh, okay. You sure know your way around town, you. Well, yeah, I played the demo. I would hope so. After all, I'm an El Campus alumnus. Oh, okay. That would explain it. Now let's keep moving. Well, I mean, we want to get Kami Izumi going. Excuse me. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh! Are you blind, woman? No, that was, uh, Tiz earlier. You have some gall to obstruct the path of Fudgius Abysmal, five-star scholar. What? Well, pretty smart. Not a single star on you. Ha! <laughs> I figured you for a simpleton the moment I laid eyes on you. Oh, yeah, thanks. Well, don't you have something to say for yourself? Shut up. Fine. I shall deign to overlook your transgressions this time. Now be gone from my sight, wench. Well then. We're blowhard. Indeed. Yeah, not the most pleasant fellow. What was that five-star business he was going on about? Something with a... Sword? You saw the five stars on his hat, didn't you? What about him? Everyone in El Campus is assigned a star ranking representing their status in school and society. Oh. With five stars, he's rather high in the ranks. Yeah, that seems rather excessive, but okay. Hmm. I guess stars and common courtesy don't always go hand in hand. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me about it. If all the high ranking types are such insufferable jerks, you can keep them away from me. Well. Why, well, I'm sure they're not all so bad. Yeah, I mean, look at me. Right? Now, let's get Master Kami Izumi to the dormitory. Oh, yeah. Life and death matter here, but we can talk for a bit, I guess. But, uh, okay, so let's see what we got around here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Thank you for not spelling magics with a K. Oh, okay. So yeah, that all works just like it did in the demo there. Heave ho! Oh, okay. Well, okay. Oh, well, you, you want to get more stars, you probably gotta study more, I guess. I don't know. Let's see, right over here, a hidden treasure. Let's see. Okay, so up here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, something like that. Kicking his ass. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I treasure it greatly. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Over to the left of the dorms. Haha, -ha, there we go. Okay, yeah, now let's actually get into the dormitory let's see up around here well we got a dude here first uh can i talk to you there you go what well 
Well, now we can do that. Although I'm not really going to be using Fencer right away, but it is a really good job class. There's just others that I find to be more useful right now. For quite some time, actually. Well, that would require me to actually stick around a battle long enough for that to happen. Which it won't. Okay, let's see. So around here... There we go. Okay, so we've got all that. Let's see. Yeah, why don't we talk to her to advance the plot? Or I could have talked to her across the desk if I wanted. Martha, well, it's wonderful to see you again. It's me, you. You, Jenny Olja. Remember from the demo? You didn't have a name in the demo, but, you know. Oh, you. What a pleasant surprise. This is Martha, the house mother. Martha, these are my friends. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Adia's mother from the first game. A pleasure to meet you all. What brings you back to our campus, you? Death. This gentleman here, he was wounded in battle and... Not really a battle, but okay. Oh my heavens, let's get you into bed. You, be a deer and fetch me a poultice. What's a poultice? Right. I don't know. But, okay. And there. That should do it. Some good bed rest, and he'll be back on his feet in no time. Hey! Whew! Oh, thank goodness. That's a load off my mind. Oh, Martha, how can we ever thank you? Money? Think nothing of it. I'm just happy to see you again. You'll be staying for a while, yes? Uh, I suppose so. We have things to do, though. Well, oh, uh, how could I forget? You haven't seen a flying castle in these parts, have you, Martha? Oh, yeah, everyday situation for me. Why, I most certainly did. It caused quite the stir here in town. Oh, really? Which way did he go? <gasps> what, do you remember which way it went? Well, there's not really many ways for it to go from here. Oh, I'm afraid not. It vanished from sight so quickly. Well, that's a fast castle they got there. Let's ask around. There must be someone in town who can tell us something. Surely the NPCs are useful here. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Over here. Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, what do you mean? Oh, okay. I don't know who he's talking about. But it's been so long since I actually went through the story. But, uh, oh, nice kitty. Just trying to scratch your eyes out. But, uh, okay, let's see. If we go up and around... Well, we got some people to talk to here. What tail? Oh, there's that Satanta fellow. Again, I think someone was saying... Something about the guy back at Gathaladio. I have no idea what any of these mean. I guess just a little background in lore or something? I don't know. Okay, how's it go? Oh, Curata? What's Curata? Hmm. Well, I'll keep an eye out for that one. But, uh, okay, so, let's see, I think that's all the treasures in... Well, yeah, it is all the treasures in the dormitory with the chests down in the lower right. So you lived in that dormitory, you? Apparently. For four whole years. Now campus is like a second home to me. What? The land of learning has a different sort of atmosphere, but it's a great place to live. Not underneath the dormitory, though. That's only in the demo, by the way. There is no, like, hidden room there in the main game. Mavilu, if I only could have met you in your student days, Hugh. Well, he's still kind of a student, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't really changed all that much. Land of Learning. Huh. I guess there must be a big school around here, right? Yeah, so big that we couldn't see it in the first game. There sure is. Or, rather, I should say that the city itself makes up one giant school. 
Yeah, pretty much. Anything and everything about life in our campus revolves around study and students. For example... What do you mean? Well, let's see. Almost the entire population of the city is made up of students, faculty, administrators, and school employees. Oh, okay. And look at the buildings around you. Bookstores, stationery stores, cafeterias, all catering to students. Wow. So it's not a school built to serve the city, but a city built to serve the school. Well, one way of looking at it. Exactly, sir. I couldn't have put it better myself. We gotta find as many ways as we can to rip off the students. You? You! What did you study while you were here? Magic. Well, just the usual liberal arts. You know, biology, physiology, psychology, theology, immunology, polemology. I don't know what polemology is. What else was there? I think that's uh, made up. Oh, right. Historical phantasmology, military musicology, <laughs> alchemic citology, political monology. That's a lot of ology. <laughs> Holy moly. It's a wonder you can fit all that in your head. I just enjoyed studying, I guess. And you're a real scholar. Du plaisante. You say you like studying? What madness is this? For the first time, I feel like I don't understand you at all. Oh, okay. Go figure. And here I had you pegged for one of us. Eh, it's not really the adventurous type. What if... what do you mean? What am I then? Well, not a warrior of light. Hmm... A uh, bookworm? Why aren't you answering? <laughs> You're a spoiled egghead. Yeah, that works. What's that look for? Come on, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we came here to ask about the Skyhold, right? So, let's get asking. Oh, right, right. The plot must go on. But, uh, okay, so, let's see if we can find anyone else around here. Did I talk to you already? Oh, right, yeah, we talked to them. Okay, so, let's see, down... Okay, let's see, there's no one around there. We do have some equipment shops around here, just like the demo, but uh, they've got different stuff this time around. I think they do, anyway. Ah, well, good, good. Oh, well, take what you can get. Oh, I think I... Oh, no, I didn't miss someone. I thought there was another NPC, though. Nope, nope. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I guess this guy's just telling you about... Uh, how weapon types exploit different creature types in this game. Unlike the first game... Every weapon in this one exploits something. But, yeah, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know why he would care about that, but... Well, let's see what we got going on now at the moon base. Hey, hey all right, that's more like it. Okay, so, yeah, let's just put a whole bunch more of you guys over there. That will do. And then, let's see, behind the Northern Guard here, another treasure. Now, yeah, if I can get out of there, that would be helpful. Uh, let me see. I also want to get some more uh, villagers for the moon base there. So why don't we just update our data here? Quite possibly for the last time before they shut down the servers. Now, I'm not going to actually use the extra villagers that I get out of this because normally at this point in the game, I wouldn't have that many. So I'm just going to stick with what I'm using for now there. So five more, that ought to be good enough to take care of any anything I want to build on the moon base for the remainder of the game. But yeah, I'm not gonna, well, I guess I could take a quick look over here. But I'm not going to, like, distribute them or anything. Okay, that's it. That's all we got there. So, goodbye, update data. You will be missed. 
Let's see, there's one more treasure over this way eventually. Look who's back. Well, he didn't exactly leave. The sheer nerve! A three-star ninny like yourself dares disobey a direct order from your superior? Are you her boss or something? But... Is that Rifa? Well, she didn't have a name in the demo. At least, I would think that was her in the demo. Briefly. A friend? Lord Rifa? No. No, he's not in this game. Rifa was an underclassman when I was here. Hey, you! The Bismol family owns half the land in our campus, you know. The school's endowment depends on Daddy's contributions. Well, good. Thank you. And still, you have the gall to refuse me? Hmm? Why not? I, I just think you should do your own assignments. Besides, I have my own research to attend to. Then get out of the way, I guess. Are you talking back to me, you three-star scrub? I'll have you expelled! Not. Leave me alone! Rifa. Where are you going? <laughs> Not only a simpleton, but a coward as well. I'll just have to find someone else. A one or two star who knows her place. What do you need someone else for? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Grr, Die out of popping one in that mealy kisser! Wait, idiot! Why? Oh, well, who gave that puffed up booba five stars anyway? Originally, stars were awarded purely for academic achievements. These days, though, there are many factors. Lineage, for example. Um, okay, but you have, like, fancy lineage and such. Lineage? Yeah, wealthy families make generous donations to the school. In return, the children of those families receive extra stars. Oh, okay. Well, good for them. So, it's a token of gratitude? I guess. Something like that. <laughs> the point is, a student's ranking doesn't necessarily have to do with their scholastic aptitude. Oh. Some students use their stars as an excuse to bully those they see as beneath them. Oh. Well, I mean, they are rich. Sounds like a silly system to me. Hmm. Perhaps it is. I should go check on Rifa. Oh. Okay, but don't we have more important things to do? I'll bet she's gone back to the spire. Just like old times. Oh, okay. Then let's take a look around. Uh, can I? Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Was there... Oh, no, I thought there was someone else over there. I'm seeing ghosts! Hey, how's it going? Oh. Okay. Where'd it go? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Okay, never mind then. Oh, what's some Neil energy? But okay. Oh okay. Well that's one way of looking at it. But uh okay, let's head in into the spire that we couldn't enter in the demo there. Let's see. Well, there's two treasures here, but we can only get one for now. Oh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, apparently there's a cat girl running around. But, uh, alright, so that's all the treasure we can get around here for now. Where'd that other guy go? Hmm. Oh. I don't know. They've all, maybe they've always existed. Oh. Um, something like that, I guess. Yeah, that would be a bummer. Well, in any case. Oh, okay. Well, I've got a pretty good job. Rich kid. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, we can't go anywhere else. Let's console Rifa. <laughs> you alright? I don't care if he has five stars or five hundred. Why can't that oaf just leave me alone? I don't know. 
didn't really want anything from you. He couldn't be more different from the five-star gentleman I used to know. <sighs> Rifa! Hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, you? Yeah, didn't you just see us, like, five minutes ago? Oh, you! I'm so happy to see you! Are you... Whoa! Okay. Rifa! Rifa, settle down. What is she doing to him? Don't answer that, viewers. Arrête, arrête! Just a minute! <laughs> what do you think you're doing to you? I, I, I don't want to know. Uh, oh my. My most sincere apologies. Ha <laughs> ha. I couldn't help myself. Just when I was thinking of you, here he is. And... Well, hold on, there's plenty of you to go around. Thinking of you? W what do you mean, thinking? <laughs> Angry face. Pegius was bullying me, like he always does. And before I knew it, my mind was drifting to happier days with you. Oh. Happier days with you? What are you so suspicious of, Magnolia? Man alive, Magnolia, calm down! I don't know what that means. You was always so kind to us. He was a five star, but he never judged others by the number of stars on their caps. Oh. If only more five stars could be like him, instead of that insufferable Pegius. Well, we could solve that problem for you. Shove a lightning bolt up his ass. Wow. You were a five star student too, you? A five-star knight in shining armor. Oh, is that supposed to be like a reference to, I don't know, like a mini game or something? That, that's that's not funny. Rifa, I couldn't help but hear you mention your research. What are you studying these days? Oh, Science. I'm glad you asked. Lately, I can't get enough of ballology. There's a thing for that. Ball. What about a ball? The study of balls. Is it level 4,000? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Huh? Like the round, bouncy ones? Or... Well, I think they spell it differently. Or like, uh, you know. <laughs> Allow the three-star biologist, Rifa, to explain. Well, what's going on? <clears throat> oh, and feel free to take notes. I mean, we did you know, fight a ball in the demo there. Balls are monstrous supernatural entities, lords of monsters, so to speak, possessed of unspeakable power. Oh, they got quite a theme song, too. Or so the legends say. No one had ever actually seen a ball, so they were thought to be mere fantasy. Oh, well, we did find one before. Until just over one year ago. What happened? A massive living organism came hurtling down from the heavens, crashing here on Lux and Dark, and causing great destruction across the land. Well, well, it must have been a long time ago. From its resemblance to the monsters of legend, people came to call it a ball. Ever since, scholars in our campus have been working tirelessly to learn more about this fearsome entity. Oh, okay. Do we... Whoa, how frightening. Do we need to do anything about it? So what did this ball do after it came crashing down here? Died? As far as we can tell, it hasn't moved a muscle since. Scholars believe that it must be sleeping. Or dead. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. What's there to study? You suggest that we simply sit by and do nothing? <laughs> Preposterous! Ridiculous! The balls of legend are horrific creatures possessed of unspeakable power. Oh. If such a creature were to waken, the entire world would be in danger. Nuts. Well then, it sounds to me like somebody should take care of this thing while it's still sleeping. Well, that sounds rather rude. Do you know where we can find this ball? Through my research, I've been able to pinpoint the precise location of impact. Oh, well, that's easy. But it's a very dangerous place, you see. Far too dangerous for a student like myself to investigate alone. Oh, are you implying something? I see. It's a bit of a detour, but why don't we go investigate this ball together? 
how do you know it's a detour? Well, I mean, I guess it's a detour from dealing with the Skyhold and all that. If what Rifa says is true, the threat is too great to ignore. Ah, oh. okay, but we already have a pretty big threat to deal with. T truly I would be happy to take you there. Where do we go? You do not mind if I go with you, yes? It would mean so much for my research. So very, very much. Sounds like a good idea. All right, if you insist, lead the way. So are you going to tell us where to go? No, I guess not. But looks like we got something happening at the moon base. Hey, all right. So we got the trigger, or the default trigger there for building up our special moves there so yeah we got everything that i really care about over there so now how about we put one more villager at the parts lab delta there and that ought to be good and we get a little party chat as well oh okay well, we're not more party members with Rifa. She's just kind of along for the ride, but she has no tangible value. Oh, okay. Well, being rich helps with that. Ah, oh, okay. Uh. Oh, oh, good, good. But apparently, I guess he had an ulterior motive the whole time. Ha ha ha. Um, okay. <laughs> but okay what do you mean what kind of secrets don't answer that viewers <laughs> just don't kill me <laughs> oh okay so he actually earned his stars, I guess. Oh, really? Huh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess. How many women has he had with him anyway? Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably nothing important. Ha ha. What's going on? Oh, okay. Not really sure what that was all about, but okay. But all right, yeah, let's, uh, taking care of our business here. We gotta go somewhere to find this bow. Let's see, what else do we got around here? Oh yeah, we got a magic shop there. I'm gonna be buying some stuff eventually. Oh, I already talked to this guy. Let's get out of here then. What do we got going on? So tell me you, what's El Campus famous for? It's uh, learning or studying or whatever? Well, let's see, it has the largest student population in Luxembourg. Oh, oh. and the largest library. Oh, well, yeah, that did look like a big place. I don't think you understood the question. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, what Idia meant to say is, what sort of food is Al Campus famous for? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I see. Well, Al Campus is a city of students, so... Hot dogs? Oh, how many times do I have to say it? I don't care about... I was getting there. Because there are so many students, Al Campus is famous for one-handed snacks. What do they need them to be one-handed for? Don't answer that, viewers. One-handed? 
don't think about it too much. Well, look around. See how everyone has a book in one hand and food in the other? Oh. So students can eat without interrupting their studies. Precisely, sir. Well, whatever works for you guys. Everything from sandwiches and rice balls to edible cups of curry rice. But most famous of all is... Ooh, right over there, that street vendor. Al Campo noodles. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess it's better than cup noodles. Noodles? Now we're talking. I'll be right back. Wait, what does that sign say? Sold out. Uh-oh. Oh, and I was all ready to nosh on some noodles. <gasps> Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Huh? What is this strange feeling? What's going on? This sticky, ever so slightly irritating sensation. I don't want to know. <gasps> Dude? <laughs> Who's that guy? <gasps> uh oh. Who? What is that? What's with the creepy music? You? What is this thing? You? Dude? I, I told you, idiot. There's there's nothing I can do. Sold out means sold out. That's... Murger -gur. Uh, guys? <laughs> we have a owl person standing behind us? Come closer? What do you want? You? Dude. Well, how about that smart and spicy spare rib? That sounds just as tasty. Sure, why not? Um, um I wouldn't if I were you, sir. I ate there once and... Oh, the less we say about that, the better. <laughs> okay. How's it going? Well, what do you want from me? <laughs> well, it would be easier if you didn't talk with your mouth full. Take this? Persevere, and uh. thine efforts will be rewarded. Glory be to the chomp! <laughs> uh, okay? <laughs> What? Hey, Magnolia! Huh? What's wrong? You're as white as a ghost. What was that all about? The Owl Man. He gave this to me. Well, at least he didn't turn his head upside down 180 degrees. That's another game, viewers. Uh, owl Man? This shabby old sack? Of uh, scissors, cotton, binding, brushes, and a note. Chomp crafts. What is that? Wait, there's something written on the back. Ooh, he gads. What a mess. Greetings, friends to the chomp. Wield the chomp crafts within to create chompers galore. You mean like the. Didn't they have those enemies like that in the first game? Send forth chompers to gain greater chomp and upgrade your chomp crafts. Uh, I. Don't know what any of that means, but okay. Craft more and more chompers, that the village of Chompshire may flourish, and the flame of Chomp burn anew. Well, I don't know of any town like that. Not in the first game. Oh, glory! Glory to the Chomp! May the Chomp chomp on forevermore! <laughs> Uh, okay. I think I'm more confused than ever. Yeah. I guess he wants us to make plush chompers. Look, there's an instruction manual of sorts. What, is that like, like a, a plushie or something? Or some sort of doll? Making toys? Ah. Huh, that could be fun. I say we give it a shot. Well, might as well take yeah, a look. Yeah, me too. Chompers? Chomping on forevermore? I don't think I want to know. But yeah, anyway, after talking to that guy, we unlock Chompcraft, a little mini game that you can play. It has 
no tangible value other than any tutorial quests that are involved with it that really don't require learning too much about it. So yeah, we got a little option there on the map menu, but yeah, nothing too extraordinary there. But we do have a whole bunch more tutorial quests now. So let's see, using a teleport stone, we'll need to find a dungeon to do that. Let's see, revise commands. We're going to have to get into a battle to do that one. And chump crafts here. Let's see, so we got... What do we got with this one? So I guess we're, we got like some sort of a, an assembly line making plushy chomps or something. But we, we can do what? Buy some scissors, I guess, while we're doing that. I'm more confused than ever. Hey, how's it going? Oh, right. You are already saying that. Well, that too. Oh. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the way it worked for me, too. But, uh, oh, what's this? You weren't there before. Got a little, uh, picky here, huh? What's with the names here? Whoa, what are you doing? Well, this is the, uh, teleporting that you can do with the little pigs. Now you can teleport from one town to another all over the world there. So that's pretty nice. We also got some uh, little blue markers, I guess, indicating side quests, just like the first game. And yeah, so they unlock new job classes as well. But, uh, all right, so yeah, let's get back in the town there. And let's see, what else do we got? So yeah, now every town is gonna have a little pig around there. Seems oddly specific. Oh, I meant to go somewhere else. Oh, I could teleport to the town that I was starting in? Huh, I didn't know that. Whoops. Whoop. Uh, yeah. Frame rate. Okay, good. We're back to normal there. Okay, but yeah, I, I want to get back to where we were. Oh, camp. So let's get back over there. And you might notice on the map. Yeah, we got to go way far to the north there, northwest of Gatiladio, to advance the plot. So that's why I didn't bother with getting any of the treasures up to this point. Uh, game? There we go. Yeah, why don't we get to the adventurer before it's too late? But how do we make some of those chomp plushies or whatever that guy was talking about there? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second. End layer. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!